terrorizing you or me, also in art school. Oh, yeah, oh, do, the, do something different, do something different in the art market. You have to invent, reinvent yourself. Yeah. You have to be different. And uh, this is a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, some people come here and say, oh, it's the same, I, this is what I've seen three years ago. These people maybe hate me. Yeah. The others come and say, wow, it's totally different. I feel like it's totally different. Yeah, exactly. I, it's totally, totally different. <laughs> I feel like it's, I've been seeing your work for the past <laughs> seven years, and this is totally different, Thank totally you. different. I Thank think it you. looks beautiful. But my enemies say, oh, no. The energy is the same. Yes. The energy and the way you approach your work is there. But the work is completely, it's different. I mean. Donna, you had a question? <laughs> cool, huh? <laughs> but I have some people, some friends, who, who came to some uh, um, shows where these kind of paintings were, and they came to me and said, it's the same. Oh, they don't yeah. know you then. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, think, I think people just don't want to see an artist become complacent because You'll never know where you could have gone if you didn't keep pushing yourself. So when you come across something that's successful, the whole idea is just not to stay there, but to keep continuing. There's no, there's no success. But there's no goal. You know what I mean? Like it's just. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, but I also with think that you can't. There, there's no. There's different kinds of pushing. In other words, you can't necessarily just look at something and say make a decision about, you can't be in this studio and not feel the push. Yeah. I mean, the energy, regardless of whether, oh, you did that before, and I saw that with teeth on something else, the, the, the energy tells you that you're constantly pushing. Yes. You know, one question I had that I, in three years I hadn't asked you yet, and I want to ask you. You said something about Casa. So, do you look at contemporary artists? Are you influenced by contemporary artists? Are you concerned? You know, the, is that of consequence for you? Yes, I'm looking. I'm not going so often to, to openings or so because the people recognize me, right. I feel I'm comfortable. Right. But I, I go into internet or buy, uh, buy catalogs, books. I really inform myself. Mm -hmm. And I also smell if something is good or not. Mm -hmm. I smell whether there's something really good in Castle or not. Like a shark, you know. Antennas are everywhere. And also your friends or inform me. We'll tell you, you go and check something out. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. It's not yeah. possible that somewhere uh, um, Van Gogh is living and you don't know it. Right. It's impossible nowadays. You feel it, you, you are informed, the people give you the, the information that is necessary. Because also I think that when somebody hears your philosophy, they might jump to the conclusion that you don't, that you're not interested, but in fact you're very interested and very important. Very, so very much. That, I know exactly what's yeah, going, going on. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just, uh, I would have to live in the woods right. to, <laughs> to survive. Right. Because I'm here in Berlin, quite in the center, I have my castle, but of course, I um, I watch television and uh, yeah, you're read, aware. Books, yeah. read newspapers. What is the role of texture in your work? <coughs> it's very prevalent, so it must mean something. Texture, to you, you to mean you. the thickness. The thickness. Yeah, the, yeah. It's the direct way the the paint comes out of the tube. It's very direct, yeah. and I mean I could. Keep this, I, I, I love it. The, one new um, uh, way of doing this is just, uh, yeah, this is one way. <laughs> this <laughs> is new because I didn't do that one year ago. Right. Yeah, just, uh, Out of the tube, right. Normally I just did like this, you know? but now I also do like this. And it's very good because it gives a new effect. And this you see more and more in the paintings. Also, to use the roll is a, t a totally new aspect. You see here, the roll um, gives a certain texture and <laughs> something new to the painting. But it's, it's a question whether this is new or not. It's, for me, it's like breathing. Right. The pressure, what you told, the energy, 
you need an energy to breathe. Right. Right. Yeah. It's an, uh, pr the pressure is the, the big word. Yeah. And if you don't feel the pressure, uh, then it's not so good. But it should be a natural pressure, not a frustrated one. Yes. Many artists are frustrated. They don't know what to do. I, for example, know exactly what to do, but I don't know what art is. I don't know what art is, but I know what to do. I just work like an ant, like an, an, an animal knows exactly what to do. No question in the head. Right. And this is very good for me. So I'm never bored. Yeah. Many artists are bored. <laughs> they are bored of themselves, of the, of the pressure. And they don't know what to do, but I, you I could finish now all in front of you all these paintings. No problem. Right. Is there a different thought process when you're doing works that have photographs of yourself or photographs in general? Because the works I remember seeing in Miami, you had these really beautiful photographs that you would work similarly on top of a cover or change. Mm -hmm. So do you work with photograph different? Because I even saw the piece over there that says Stalin, it has two photographs of you in the bottom. Mm -hmm. This painting is a little older, okay. so uh, um, this is maybe, oh, this is seven years old. And yeah, at that time I used a lot of photos. Okay. And yeah. it will come back, but at the moment I stopped a little. So like, why, like why were you using it before? Mm. <laughs> Difficult to say. I don't know. Are you, do you choose them specifically? I had a big box of photos. It's <laughs> 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 a good material to cover a canvas. I mean, I, I don't think so much about it. I just let it happen. Yeah. And the theory comes later. Um, do it, and the theory comes then. Yeah. I think it's, um, it often kills you when the theory is there before. You just <laughs> let it happen. And then the experts come <laughs> and, and put their visions into what you have done. So <laughs> along those lines, <laughs> so what, ha, do you own? Do you keep any work? I start now uh -huh. because it's necessary. People tell me that I have to do <coughs> it. Normally, I want to give everything out. Right. It has to go away to also be independent from me, it means to satisfy. In art, you should not satisfy others, you should satisfy art by doing your do job and you doing your duty towards art. Yeah? My mother is, for example, a, a total authority for me. I mean, if she would tell me, do this and that, I would think about that. <laughs> 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 but I would do what she <laughs> says, yeah? or my friends who are important, of course, but the, nobody knows what art is. It's totally okay to say this is a shit sculpture. Maybe, I, I even think it's a shit sculpture, but what does the sculpture think? This is the question. What does this, does this sculpture want to be in the world, yes or no? Yeah? And maybe it can tell us if we listen carefully enough. And it will develop its own life in the scene, but not in the art scene, but in the world. Like this painting, maybe it's strong enough to survive, maybe not. But in, in, in the end, it's canvas with color. So it's but like the, bread with cheese. It's not, the, nothing else. In the end, you go back the next day and make work. Yes. That's the, that's the, it's not like you make this painting and say, this wasn't a good painting, I gotta stop. I can't make any more paintings. No. That's never gonna happen. No, no. And that, again, that, the, the value of work you know, the value of the process is incredible, you know, not to, not to have that tell you not to work. And that you see, I think, beautifully in animals' life. They often do their duty, you know, like the, the small animals that carry a big leaf from A to B. And that they do all the time, boom, 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 that's their job. It's not about being creative, not being, uh, uh, inventing something new, just carry what is necessary to be brought from A to B. And here is also, it's necessary to have a color, to press it onto the canvas and do something. It's not so much, not a big deal, it's not a genius thing. 
I'm not a genius, for example. It's very important to understand. It's, I'm just a, a servant who, who buys a color, takes it, and hopefully it looks good. <laughs> and it's not so... And I was always thinking like that. I always worked a lot. I produced a lot. That's why I will never be very, very expensive, but because I produce too much for that, which is fine. I love it. I want more the material to be in the world. I don't want to uh, end up in art history as the genius artist. This is not my goal. So how long are you in town already? Wonderful, <laughs> awesome, <laughs> incredible. Super. It looks like a <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now it's a good, good time. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the first time we came, you just moved in. Yeah. yeah. The second time. Yeah. It took him quite a while to get used to to the atelier, you know, and uh, and then once. Because he didn't, he always said, you know, I, I go tomorrow, I go tomorrow. And then we took him to um, the paint supply shop, this huge shop there. And he, he bought and bought <laughs> and bought and bought, and then we emptied it all out here. And that was the beginning, then we started. We, um, Stefan put on the, the, all the, what is it, line by canvases. canvases, and then he started. Now we like so it's very, very nice with the light too. Wow. Are you, is this for one exhibition? No, no, it's just okay. Just getting, uh, uh, getting work or, or preparing, working in general, but there are some exhibitions in the fall. Mm -hmm. I have an exhibition in uh, Antwerp in the gallery and an exhibition in uh, Vienna in So, some of these babies will go there, and others will go to fairs, or right. just for next year. And you have new bronze, are these new? Or? Yes, they are quite new. Have you seen them last year? I mean, I made them at no, the same... I don't think, no, I don't think we can do that then. No. Because it's a very different form of of sculpture because usually they are static, they are sitting or standing figures, and then now yeah. this one. Uh, is yeah, they're much more narrative. Yeah. 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 This is a oh, new one. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> so, do you, for example, <laughs> <laughs> the same way you burnt objects and collage them and burn them out? Absolutely. Yeah. The base was also a sculpture like this, yeah. um, but in a smaller scale. And then I went to the foundry and there they made it bigger and oh, very yeah. rough. Yeah. And then I formed them. You went back <coughs> and, and worked them. Yeah. yeah, and they're different than the, old, the sculptures you had at uh, Mocha. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They are more like heads. Right. And, no movement, just like that. He started with it when he started working with Barbie dolls. Yes. You see, oh. these are really Barbie dolls in movement. I mean, they look a little bit different now. <laughs> but there you can see, for example, how he's working with parts of Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the actress who's mounting? Oh, uh, Scarlett Johans. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw on the plane. They had a special on Woody Allen. And at oh. one moment they had Scarlett Johansson. Oh, now, whenever I see Scarlett Johansson, I think of you. You ruined her for me. It's like, oh no, it's the wrong connection. It's so funny, immediately I thought about you. No, I gave you a new now perspective. <laughs> To see. I didn't even notice her mouth before that. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Fred, come on. Uh, yeah. Um, hmm. So what do you say? guys have questions so, about how it works or what? So you say that you started doing this just to get you started, just to get you producing? Yes. I mean, yes. Which, I mean did you just 
had an idea where to start and then how how you start, I don't know how did, how do you set yourself up to I just needed time I, I need peace mm -hmm. and I just come here and I, I work on everything at the same time I'm doing the uh, painting and also sculptures and listening to music and then for example tomorrow I will work the whole day here and I will uh, yeah do you I, like stop and go for a sculpture or do you just go on the paintings all at once and then try to do something all at the separate? same time I hear like um, that you use play a lot and then you love just just play and even with like symbols like the swastikas and yes. the crosses and stuff you just reuse the, the like you create your own meaning for it again. Yeah. So you re, do you like recreate these symbols and reapply I guess meanings to them, or it's just like anything goes. Anything goes, and these uh, symbols will have a totally different meaning yeah. in the future. Exactly. And it uh, um, and uh, in in art we can use all these symbols without problem. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then we can give them back to reality in in a totally different meaning. Do, do you have them in mind while, while you while you use them, or it just, just happens as a, like a spontaneous thing? It's like I mean, this can you use a swastika here, or do you like think about uh, are, are their meanings, their past meanings, present while while you use them? In the past, maybe there were some meanings, but now I use them so frequently. Mm -hmm. I I just use them like like uh, drinking, or yeah. I am <laughs> just a stroke, and it just comes automatically. This these precise forms. Because it's a precise form, the swastika, yeah. and in art it has no good and no bad meaning. It has no meaning except it's just a stroke or it's just something yeah. for the future. Yeah. Do you keep a sketchbook? Uh, sometimes, yes, yes. Or you consider this kind of like your big sketchbook? That, it, yeah. that it's the big sketchbook, mm -hmm. of course. But I'm also using small ones, but also at home. Mm -hmm or in the evenings, or when I watch television. Okay. <laughs> I always make notes and small drawings and yeah. poems and writings. And, and do, those, do those poems and writings end up inside the work? Like, or, Absolutely. Or, okay. Absolutely, I mean, uh, as titles, for example. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could uh, just turn one of them. For example. Uh, just before you came, I made this title. So, so it's, it's a kind of poem, but it's also a title. That just came because I, we were having fun waiting for you, and I think, mean, oh, wow, let's give this painting a, a title, even though it's not finished yet. But the title is here before the painting is finished. So, it, it's impossible to translate. <laughs> <laughs> 